Well, the sun's out and I'm happy about that because the rain was really starting to get to me. So I am definitely going hiking today. The problem is I'm not going to go on the hike that I wanted to do. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get there online. Google had no idea. So I just went to the bus station this morning and I had to walk around looking at signs and I figured it out. I figured out which company it is that goes to the start point, how to get back and all that. But when I did the math, I had to wait a long time for the bus. It was a 45 minute ride. It didn't get me to the start point much before noon. And uh, then, uh, <laughs> and then it's a six hour hike and the last bus is at six. So it just didn't leave me any buffer at all. And I didn't want to get stuck in some weird village overnight with no camping equipment. So <laughs> I'm going to do something different. Um, it's okay. Uh, the hike that I wanted to go on, it, it looked nice, but I, I don't know if it's all that special. So uh, I'm going to just hike from uh, Rome Barak today. Not go too far really. Um, maybe a few hours, but uh, yeah, we'll see. This looks promising. Might be a good direction to go. There are these little gated shelters all the way up the hill. I don't know what they are. They seem to have religious imagery on the inside. Not sure. Well, I can see the castle I went to yesterday over there. You also can get a pretty good look at the highway project that they've got going on. There's a big highway they're building. It's been under construction for several years already. It's not done. I've been climbing for an hour. Looks like I'm going down a little bit here anyway. Um, but it's crazy how noisy everything is. Like I can hear cars on the highway. I can hear the mine below dogs barking, a weed whacker. It's just, it's just so noisy. I mean, it probably doesn't come through in the video, but I don't know. I just feel like I can't really escape the people somehow. Ah, I thought that was the peak, but this is the peak. Velka Scala, I think. Well, I can see my hotel down there. I guess this is a ski resort and or mountain biking resort with a cable car going up there. Didn't even know that existed. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go down here somewhere and then climb that thing there because it's still early. And then I should be able to walk back through there somewhere. There's also some kind of UNESCO heritage site down there, a village of some kind that I thought maybe I could swing by on the way back. It's so noisy though, that, that mine. Like your trucks backing up every now and then, weed whackers. I think I can actually hear the hum of the motors running this cable car too. It's just noisy. But it is a beautiful day. It hasn't rained at all yet, which <laughs> I'm really enjoying. Sotorovo? Not sure, but I made it to the top. The UNESCO heritage site that I was interested in seeing 
is right down there. And it's on my path to get back, so I do have to go down this way and around, but that's all right. I'll be able to hit that on the way back. <laughs> this is a crazy tough trail. It's steep. Glad I brought my trekking poles. This descent has been so slow. <laughs> I've slipped so many times, and if I didn't have my trekking poles, I'd be sliding down this on my butt, I think. Ah, at least it's direct. That descent was very, very fast, but a little bit terrifying. I'm not going to lie, I'm glad it's over. And now it looks like 20 minute walk this way to get to the UNESCO site. La Conlinic, or something along those lines. I looked it up online and Vokalinia is probably sort of how to pronounce this place. Uh, it's a medieval town known for its wood construction. Which is why the roofs are all kind of like they are. I think there are like 25 buildings in total and only six of them are actually occupied by people that live here. Though so some of them are probably B and B's. Well, nothing in English in here. <laughs> Translated a little bit. Apparently Vilkurinya was named after wolves. 14th or 15th century. But it's always been a part of Rombarak. Officially. Built in 1770, this bell tower is one of the oldest constructions in the village. And that there is the well, which is no longer in use. Well, I paid four euros so I could wander around. Huh, Inder. But they actually do have some English, so that's cool. Drain separator. Yeah, 
The church here is one of the only buildings not made out of wood. Don't think it's as old either. Well, the village is pretty cool. Could have done without that four-year-old museum visit, though. <laughs> it's a bit of a rip-off. And that's the mountain I came down from earlier. Now I have to figure out how to get back to town. I think these signposts will probably tell me. The walk back hasn't been too exciting, but it's easy. Nice view of the village down there, I guess. These are pretty.